So let's look at the first question from Piwe. Thank you so much, Piwe. We are given a cricket pitch, even though the question is not um, as visible. But it says here, this is a diagram um, of a cricket pitch, and it's shown below. Study the diagram and answer the questions that follow. You know, I always like um, studying the, the diagram first before I answer the questions that follow. So we've got the pitch here, and it says here, this is where the stumps are going to be made um, in terms of cricket. And, you know, when it comes to such things, don't panic, even if you don't really know your cricket that well. I don't know my cricket that well. Um, but just by studying this diagram, I can already see what's happening. And then it says to me, this is the running area from here to here. So already I know that's going to be my running area. And that is 17.68 meters. And then going up from here to there is going to be 3,66 meters. Let's go now um, and look at the questions that we are given in terms of this particular um, scenario. Okay, the first thing says to us, explain the term perimeter. Learners sometimes ask me, ma'am, do we need to know the definitions? You cannot calculate something if you do not know what it means. You cannot calculate something if you do not know what it means. So it will be very useful to yourself um, to know what each thing means. You don't have to sit there and cram it the entire night. Just know what it means so you can know what to calculate. So perimeter is the sum of the sides. So perimeter is the sum of the dimensions. So if I've got my length, my breadth, my length, my breadth, perimeter is just me adding all of those up. Let's write it down so you can see what I am talking about. So that's going to be 1.2.1 .1 perimeter. Is the sum of the sides or the sum of the dimensions. Anytime you hear the word dimensions, they just mean sides, guys. It's just a fancy word. You know, sometimes um, they'll have those fancy words there. So now we know what perimeter is. The next question then says to us, calculate the perimeter of the area where the players run during the cricket um, overs. So it means that we're going to calculate the perimeter, meaning that we're going to add now the sides according to the definition that we have been given. Let's go and surround, um, not surround, but circle sort of what we are talking about. So I'm going to use blue. This is the area that I'm being asked for. This is what I need um, to calculate. Okay, so it's definitely going to be 17,68 plus 3,66 plus 17,68 plus 3,66. So basically what you can do is just multiply by two. Okay, 17,68. So P, let me use the same for uniform. P is then going to equal to um, side one times two plus side 2 times 2 because they are the same. So side 1 is 17,68 times 2 plus side 2 is 3,66 times 2. Let's go put that in our calculator. 17. Guys, don't walk into an exam without a calculator. Don't sabotage yourself like that and don't walk into the exam with a calculator that you just borrowed from a friend because you are going to be in trouble okay so that's going to give us 36 comma 35 comma 36 you need to use a calculator that you know how to use because you might be walking into an exam with a calculator that you're only using for the first time and then that messes you up please 7,32. Uh, now we go add those. Plus 35,36. Which then gives us 42,68. And now... It's going to be in meters and not meter square because this is just perimeter. Meter square would have been if we were doing it as um, 
Um, meter square would have been if we were calculating area. Meter cube would have been if we were calculating um, volume. So now we're only just adding the sides. So it's just going to be meter. The last question says to us, calculate the area in meter square. They even tell you what the area needs to be in. Calculate the area in meter square of the cricket pitch. So now it even gives us um, a formula, which is what I was talking about when I said to you guys, guys, you are going to be given a formula. But for perimeter, know that perimeter, you're just adding all the sides. Okay? Stunning. So it's going to be area, according to what we've been given here even, is equals to length times width, just know that width is the same as breadth, okay? So it's the same as me saying length times breadth. So breadth and width is the same thing, which is always the shorter side. So the length of this particular pitch is 22.56 and then times 3, comma, 66. Stunning. Let's go put that in our calculator. Guys, know how to use your calculator. Sometimes you're losing marks because you don't know how to use your calculator. 3,66. Again, okay. So that's 82,57. I'm rounding it off to two decimal places. 82,57. And that's going to be in meter square, as they've told us. Okay, stunning.